Hello friends, this is Durga again from IT University and as part of building enterprise data warehouse using Hadoop ecosystem, so far we have covered uh, how we actually create databases uh, for ODS and DW and also for stage using Hive and also we have created tables using Hive DDL and then we have and then we have you uh, looked into the strategies um, where we can integrate data effectively from uh, relational data sources using uh, scoop if you want to uh, pull the data from uh, relational database otherwise if you if if you don't want to use pull strategy instead if you want to use push strategy the uh, source systems will push you the data on agreed upon specification and then you can use the hive load command to load into uh, hadoop and then we have seen uh, Hive insert also, wherein we can actually apply the transformation before loading into the um, uh, target tables. And then uh, to get into more details about uh, uh, transformations, we started looking into HiveQL. We have seen the HiveQL architecture and the major differences with relational at the database level. And now we are actually getting into uh, more details about HiveQL, syntax, semantics, and then we will see the differences as well in that so first let us start with the differences when it comes to simple queries um, uh, in the earlier versions hive does not support exists at all so if you run a query with the exist condition it will not work in hive but in the latest version uh, typically one of the use case where you use exist is if you if you want to see the uh, data uh, in one table which does not exist in the other table the best way to get that uh, result is by using exists or not exists condition and uh, in the earlier versions that was not supported but in the uh, latest versions they have included support for that and uh, we will see that que sample query for that so again I am changing the uh, hive execution engine to MR Connecting to appropriate database in this case retail underscore ODS and I want to write a simple query select count of one from orders o where not exists select one from order underscore items y where y dot order id sorry order item order id equal to o dot order id so we are trying to get all the orders uh, count of all the orders which does not have any of the order items in the data set and hit enter it will convert into a map reduce job it will run as a map reduce job and then it will show you the results But in the earlier versions, if you try to do this, it will not work. I think this one is using Hive.14 and 0.14 version, uh, which supports exists. But I think uh, up to 12 or 13, uh, exists is not supported at all. It will, it used to throw the syntax error. And then uh, um, correlated subqueries. Uh, again, uh, the example which I have shown earlier is considered to be one form of correlated subqueries. Even though it supports exists, there are many other uh, sub correlated subqueries which are not supported. For example, in the in clause, you cannot pass a query uh, like you can do it in uh, traditional uh, traditional relational databases. Like uh, in MySQL database, you can get um, count of orders where not in select order id sorry order item underscore order id from order underscore items so the same query which we ran with uh, not exists if you try to run it in uh, okay in, my, in even in my sql it is not supported it seems but in oracle it, that query works without any issue but uh, in hive it does not run so this type of queries which which works well in oracle if you want to run it in uh, uh, hive you have to convert it into not exist query and you have to run it like this 
So you need to be aware of all the subtle differences between the traditional RDBMSs. Each RDBMS is a little bit different. Um, the same query will not run in all the databases. Each one have its own proprietary way of dealing the things. But most of the queries that uh, uh, that confirms to ANSI standard will work without any issues. But other queries it might not work. And then there is no support for scalar subqueries. Scalar subqueries means um, uh, in place of column name also in Oracle you can actually give a query uh, in the select clause of the query. Uh, whereas in Hive it is not supported. And when it comes to joins, Hive only supports ANSI join. So you, you can only run, uh, 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 if you want to do left auto join, let's say in this case I want to get uh, uh, de uh, all the orders that are not in order items table. In traditional RDBMS, you can also write like this. Select star from orders, O, comma, order underscore items. I'm not sure whether it will work in uh, MySQL or not, but in Oracle, this, this will work where o dot order id equal to oi dot order item order id and limit 10 yeah it is working here but if you try to run the same query in uh, hive it will not work let me type that query real quick okay this is working i think there are many changes in the latest version in the earlier versions this used to um, this this was uh, this is used to not work but in the latest version it seems it is working let's see the results in a moment so i need to fix this slide And when it comes to joins, um, there, uh, there is something called map set join. Um, in most of the uh, distributions that map set join is um, uh, enabled, it uses an important concept called distributed cache. So take the example of uh, a very large fact table joining with a dimension table which will be uh, of few megabytes. So if you try to do join on these two tables in conventional way of map reduce, uh, so the joins can be done in reduced side, reduce side as well as map side. So if you try that uh, typically is reduced side. If you try to join these two tables, one very large fact table and one small dimension table on the reduced side, it will typically fork two map reduce jobs and also it can be very slow. Uh, in some cases, especially if, if it is resulting into Cartesian product. For that reason, um, uh, Hive or Hadoop MapReduce supports something called the distributed cache, which, which we can leverage for our map set join. We will see when we actually talk about joins later, but for now, uh, uh, just understand that um, when it comes to joins in the earlier versions, uh, Hive supports only ANSI joins and uh, it also supports something called map set join and we will see the details as we move forward and when it comes to sorting in relational databases you have only one type of sorting which is order by and uh, uh, order by actually sorts globally on the column that is specified within order by but whereas in hive there is another feature called sort by which is pretty powerful but uh, you need to compromise the global sort it will not be able to do the global sort but within the key it will sort the results we will see those details again later but for now just remember that when it comes to sorting hive supports sort by and order by where the relational databases supports only order by and then use the different functions um, there are many user defined functions which are already there as part of Hive. You, uh, you can get the list by typing show functions. And if you want to uh, see the details, you can use describe formatted and give the function name. Sorry, describe xpath. One minute, let me see the de syntax.
okay it's a describe function describe function let's say substring so you can see the details uh, the syntax and the details about the substring function you can also do describe function formatted sorry extended which will give you lot more de um, uh, lot more details about the user defined function we have but when it comes to traditional rdbmss especially the market leader oracle you have a powerful programming language called pl sql and if you want to customize uh, uh, or if you want to uh, come up with a custom user defined function of, uh, of for a particular enterprise or for a particular business case you can use pl sql and write uh, the user defined functions by yourself whereas in uh, hive we don't have programming language we have only hive ql similar to query language and if you want to custom uh, if you, if you want to have custom user defined function then you have to understand hive apis um, uh, 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 using java and you can come up with your own uh, user def defined function by writing java programs using certain highway apis and following certain instructions to create the user defined function by yourself which we will see later so these are the things which you need to keep in mind and then uh, there is the concept of hints when you try to run the map reduce jobs you can uh, uh, you can have hints and uh, eventually we will see monitoring the jobs uh, but for now we will primarily focus on uh, the query language so this is the syntax for high query um, it starts with select as in relational database it it looks like uh, typical sql queries which we are familiar with uh, using any relational database and you can either give all by default it's all and you also can give distinct it's the same as the relational database and you can have column name or expression um, uh, comma separated from table name and then you can have filter condition you can have group by condition and this is uh, high specific where you can also have something called cluster by distribute by sort by which we will see later and then you can actually do limit uh, to limit the number of records you want to display especially for ad hoc uh, uh, validations and queries so this is the typical syntax of uh, high query um, which you need to understand and uh, typically when you write a query uh, it starts with the from clause the evaluation starts with the from clause whatever table you have specified in the from clause uh, that table data will be read first and uh, while the data is being uh, read um, in your map reduce in the map reduce program that is generated as part of the map it will apply the filters which are defined in where condition and also the operator um, both conditional filters and operator filters like uh, uh, greater than less than and all those things and then uh, for group by and having the it's it's more of a uh, aggregation thing for group by and having it uses reference sort and reducer phase it, it does not typically happen in mapper once the data is queried uh, from the table which is specified in the from clause after applying the where condition in your mapper and after uh, running a, a reduce function on a group by or having the data will be returned um, uh, which is specified in the select column uh, uh, into your standard uh, output uh, in your hive command line interface and if you have order by there will be another map reduce job which orders the data which are selected in the columns so uh, one thing you need to understand is even for simple queries uh, it will it might fork multiple map reduce job depending upon uh, the functionality it has to be executed so one high query will not be run as a one map reduce job there will be multiple map reduce jobs when when you write uh, uh, simple to uh, uh, complex queries especially if it uses group by having order by etc and also joins um, the entire logic cannot be implemented using one map reduce application instead it will become uh, and uh, it will be uh, compiled into multiple map reduce jobs or applications and they will be submitted as multiple map reduce jobs 
and uh, we will see how it works we will write a simple query uh, which you will join group by having a uh, group by order by etc and then you can see the num uh, uh, different mapped jobs we will go to the uh, resource manager web interface and we will see details about all the queries later when we actually demonstrate when it comes to joins it typically uses fancy syntax but as we have seen uh, in a little bit earlier it also uses um, uh, other notion also like you typically do in oracle uh, where you can uh, actually have tables in comma separated and uh, uh, apply the equal let me validate one more thing real quick earlier i just ran inner join let me try outer join this time so i want to get all the orders in o which are not present in order item so i have to put plus here yeah so this this does not work so it only supports inner join in uh, this format uh, but uh, when it comes to outer joins uh, you have to use ansi sql only like this left outer join on o dot order id equal to order items y dot order item order id and then i want to limit it to 10 and now you can see that it is submitting as a map reduce job so this is ansi standard and only ansi standard works when it comes to outer joins for inner join uh, even the non ansi format worked so let me fix that slide which you have modified this is not correct statement it only supports ansi joins okay so that being said uh, you can do sorry uh, by default, uh, the joins are reduced at join, um, and typically the number of mapper functions will be equal to number of tables in join. So, if you have multiple tables in join, there can be multiple mapper functions. If you want to decide for the map reduce job, no need to worry much about it. And uh, typically, join happens in reducer unless you use something called map side join. And uh, when when it comes to map side join, it uses a concept called distributed cache. Uh, and in a very complex query where you try to join multiple tables you can actually have combination of hybrid and map uh, sorry combination of reduced side join and map side join so there are certain uh, limitations when you try to use map side join it is very efficient when you try to join a very large table with a smaller table and there are certain parameters which you need to be aware of um, which i will show you in a moment um, and uh, uh, and you can uh, 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 when it comes to joining uh, two large tables you need to come out, uh, you need to use um, reduce side join only if you use map side join you will run into out of memory issues and uh, uh, you cannot enforce let me show you uh, a simple case here so earlier we have ran the join query and you can see that it is actually using map join okay so it is default in the distribution but in the plain vanilla hadoop map side join is not default if you want to set the map side join you need to understand couple of parameters and let me show you what those parameters are high minus e set grep join so i'm trying to get the parameters by using this command So this is the parameter. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you set it to false, it will not run as map side join at all. If you set it to true, it will convert it to map side join. But there is another parameter uh, which which controls uh, the small table file size. So in this case, the small table file size is 250 MB. So as long as uh, the small table in the join is under 250 MB, it tries to use uh, 
map set join as long as you have auto convert join to true it's uh, the way it uh, the map set join execute uh, is uh, different compared to typical join which is reduced set join uh, so when it comes to reduced set join the join happens on the reducer um, whereas when it comes to map set join the small table will be pushed to all the map tasks and in the in the map task itself that small table uh, will be used to uh, for the, uh, uh, will be converted into a hash table and it uh, uh, in the map side it's um, in the mapper itself um, the there will be a lookup into the smaller table uh, which which fits into the memory and using that it will actually perform the join which is far more effective compared to uh, reduce side join when you try to join a very large fact table with dimension table now let me set this to false and earlier we have seen that uh, our join query uh, uh, have run as one map reduce job so i have to say set equal to false and now i am trying to run the query the same query nothing changed only that high water convert join i set it to false if you see now those memory related information is not displayed here and also if you see the difference of the execution the earlier query it has only one mapper and the mapper is for the larger table which is order items in this case for the small uh, table there is no mapper and there are no reducers itself uh, at all that uh, simple query does not require reducers so it just join on the map set and it uh, emitted results directly here and it only took 3 seconds 310 milliseconds whereas in the new approach uh, even though it used uh, it ran only as one map reduce job but it ha it has two mappers and one reducer and it took almost three times the time of the previous one so map set join is very effective when you, when you try to join a very large fact table with dimension table in the scope of building a enterprise data warehouse using hadoop ecosystem and it uses an important concept called distributed cache uh, internally where the map uh, where the, the small table will be built as a hash table within the memory of the larger table's map tasks and uh, there will be a lookup performed on the map side itself whereas in uh, typical join without uh, uh, map side join it is uh, uh, the join is done at the reducer side and both the data sets have to be transformed for the reducer so there is a higher amount of network IO that needs to be happen when it comes to typical join but even if you set our auto convert to true if the file size is larger than if the smaller file size is larger than this parameter which is 250 mb in this case uh, sorry it is 25 mb in this case uh, it will uh, actually use reduce side join only if you try to set this value to uh, um, abnormal uh, a higher value then you can run into out of memory issues so you have to be very careful to understand the repercussions of changing this value to a higher value and uh, uh, it can lead into uh, uh, out of memory issues so you have to be uh, due diligent about this and uh, coming to sorting um, I will cover as part of the next video. So, so far as part of IQL, we have covered joins and uh, uh, simple queries, uh, but we will demo all these things once we cover the theory part of it. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content so far on my channel. If you have any questions, please use the comment section of the video. If you like the video, please click on the like button. And if you, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will see a lot more content than just big data and Hadoop. Thank you. Bye.